All right, you've got to admit it, there is absolutely nothing better than a cup of warm cider on a cold winter's mm. day, especially during the holidays. And that's what's in store for you if you attend the Julia A. Purnell Museum's annual Victorian Christmas celebration. Yeah, that and so much more. Claire Otterbein is the director of the Julia A. Purnell Museum in Snow Hill and joins us in the kitchen. And you're going to show us how to make one of the classics there. It's mulled cider. Yeah, that's right. So a traditional apple cider infused with spices. Uh, and it's also really easy to make. All right, let's get started. What do we need for this? Okay, you just need, uh, we've got two quarts here of apple cider from the grocery store. Um, some orange slices here, which we did. And other than that, it's just the spices. So we've got ginger root, um, we've got our cinnamon sticks, we've got some anise seeds here. If you can find the star anise, that's great too. The whole thing, we've got the little spiky guys here are the cloves. Mm, okay. uh, and the allspice berries, the whole berries um, as well. So it's the it's the spices that makes it mold cider. Yeah, that right? that's really that's what the mold is. Just like you can make mold wine um, by heating it up on the stove and infusing all of those spicy flavors all into right. it. Well, let's go ahead yeah. and get our stove on and get, get started. Up there. All right. So, so we we'll start do, off. So, with, so what do we do here to uh, well, first, to get started? We're going to start here with getting our cider ready to go in the pot. Okay. See, she this, wouldn't let me pour that, knowing that I would spill. I, I don't trust you there. <laughs> So it's definitely one of those recipes where you're kind of just throwing things in a pot and you don't have to be too careful about your measuring. We're going to put the orange <laughs> slices in there. Okay, put them in whole? Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. You're Do you need more slices? Sure. We I can slice you some more. Slice, yes, yes. So tell us, uh, what is the focus of this year's celebration? It's all about the food for us this year. So people love the food, the traditional Victorian 19th century holiday food. So we're doing the cider, we'll have shortbread, we'll have gingerbread. Um, my board president does this amazing uh, Yule log cake with Ooh. the meringue mushrooms. Um, that's really fun. Uh, so a lot of food for people to try. All right. uh, and then we're going to add our spices. So we've got our cinnamon sticks here that just we're just going to throw them in the pot. We're going to okay. throw yeah. them in the pot. We've got a hunk of our ginger root, uh, which has a lot of flavor. Yeah. Um, we've got our allspice berries here, and we're going to chuck those in in our <laughs> cloves. Uh, and also some of these little anise seeds are going to go in there as well. Um, and if you have a cheesecloth at home, you can make a little sachet. You can mm -hmm. do it that way as well. Make a little sachet bundle of all of your herbs and chuck it in there. That just makes it easier for you to fish it out at the end before you serve it. Um, and But this way you can just throw them in very easily as well. So how long um, do we leave this uh, simmering? You're going to get it up to a boil, mm -hmm. turn it down. Uh, let it simmer for maybe 20 minutes to get it a nice flavor. The longer you let it go, the more flavorful, the more spicy it will be. So and it I depends on your taste. I imagine yeah. it. The whole house smells yeah, good when you're making this. Yeah, it's tasty, but it also fills the house with that wonderful, um, very festive flavor. Uh, and it's also a recipe you can customize it. You can add your own thing. Some people put a little bit of cranberry juice to give it that tart. You can add some orange juice to, uh, along with your orange slices, to make a citrusy, a lemon for a little tangy. It could be different lemons. every time. Yeah. Exactly, it is. Wow. And so it's fun for kids because you toss it in the pan. You, know, you don't have to worry and too much. To and you can make it so your own. There's a lot of things that are coming up um, in your celebration, mm -hmm. like well, I mean, it's, you're focusing on food, but there's a lot of other things you going on, too. have the Christmas trees? Yeah, we'll have the, our Victorian Christmas tree exhibit up. So we have an example of a Victorian Christmas tree, which is a little bit different than today. It was a tabletop tree. Um, it was absolutely dripping with ornaments. Um. Uh, it was definitely not a, a less is more. It was a more is more aesthetic for the Victorian. <laughs> so they loaded it up. Um, and it was that little tabletop tree. Gifts were stuck in the tree. Um, in the tree? Yeah, yeah. So oh, wow. kids could kind of have like a little scavenger hunt to find That's those fun. little toys in the tree. Um, so we'll have that exhibit that talks about those traditions um, that we know today and where they came from. Well, you got some more of that to show us here exactly. in just a little bit. Let's talk first about that. Give us the, the event details so we know where to go, when to go. Okay, yeah. It's, um, it's Saturday, December 1st from 10 to 4 at the Purnell Museum in Snow Hill. Uh, right on Market Street, the main street that runs through uh, Snow Hill. We're right. just charging. Everything comes with our regular uh, general admission fee. For adults, it's $2. Uh, and for children, it's actually free this year. Um, and that is courtesy of the Berlin Ocean City Optimist Club is sponsoring that. All right. And of course, if you want the recipe for the mulled cider, you know what to do. You can <laughs> get a shopping list and instructions and uh, send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 1729 North Salisbury Boulevard, Salisbury, Maryland, 21801. Make sure you let us know you want the recipe for mulled 
cider. Now you say you let this sit for a while, so this is something that was through the magic of TV. Yeah. Already prepared. <laughs> yes, through the magic of me you cooking it last mm -hmm. night. <laughs> and so you oh. can serve it chilled or warm. Uh, whatever it you tastes prefer. like apple pie. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. <laughs> it really does. That wood tastes good warm. Really All right. Nice. Well, thank you. So you mean you're not leaving? Yeah, I'm going because we got a taste of what to expect at this weekend's Victorian Christmas celebration. Up next on Del Marva Life, we try our hand at one of the crafts that will be there. It's a simple craft the kids will love. But first, let's take a look at what's coming up in the news on the first at five on Fox 21. A little bit later on on WBOC News at six.